What's up everybody, Chris Douglas here with You Me Spirituality, and today, I bet y'all been feeling a little emotional, and that's a pretty good guess I just put out there, because if you look up into the sky, we have a full moon tonight. It was pretty full last night, but today is 100% of a full moon, which means you have a ton of emotions that are kind of going through your head, and you have two choices to answer them or let them be answered. How does that sound? No, I'm more the one to go in and just like, let's get these, because I learned the trick, if you run away from stuff, it still is gonna get you, but it's gonna hit you a little bit harder. It's kinda like Wile E. Coyote being chased by this like, you know, dynamite, and then it's like the further he runs, the more speed that rocket gets, and it hits you a little bit harder. So, if you learn to actually answer your problems and your emotions, more readily instead of pushing it off and pushing it off and pushing it off it's a little bit easier to handle and you also get a little bit more of like a reward from the universe but that's a whole new video in itself this video is about the full moon and things to do during a full moon because yesterday I felt myself kind of you know getting into Chris's deep self and was like Ooh, this is uh there's a lot going on in here that I thought I cleared out so I was like you know what I'm gonna do First thing you should do during a full moon is meditate. And you're like, meditate? Meditation is all about stopping your thoughts and sitting calm with yourself and seeing what floats in. And that is what I realistically did last night because I was sitting there, I was like, man, I got a lot going on. What's going on? What's the next move for me? All of these questions that I wanted answers to, but all I did was sit there and let the answers come to me and I also sat there and, you know, this is number two, is to really like create the intention during a meditation to have anything that doesn't serve you go off so that you create space for new pure things and energies and just all over opportunities to come in during the full moon. It's a really good time to be like, you know what, that person doesn't serve me anymore. I wish they would leave my life so somebody else will come in. And it's magical how it happens. You guys might just be like, you know, Chris is on one again. But it, as soon as you do it, you will see how well it works. And people I told this to in the past were like, eh, they're listening now. And that's, that's the coolest part of this all, right? I was skeptical at first myself, and then I was like, now I'm making these videos. And I got crystals in front of me, which brings us to topic number three. If you're a crystal head or you like your crystals, you know, like, fluorite's a really good one. A little bit of opalite. Anyways, if you have crystals... A full moon is known as like the supercharging, power charging time for your crystals. Because I think I've heard through the grapevine you shouldn't sleep with your crystals on, so I take mine off now. But during night, in a full moon, you can put these outside and as long as there's like direct moonlight, these babies will get cleansed because they do carry around energy so they pull off of you. And then it also recharges them, kind of like your cell phone at night so that the energies and all the meaningful, I guess, meaning and purposes that you have these crystals for will be like full force here tomorrow. It'll be like, yo, those crystals got charged last night because the full moon you put them on there charged them up, you know? So, I mean, those are the top three things to think about during a full moon. I'm trying to think, I want to say there's something else I wanted to say. Oh, yes. You gotta go out and dance a little bit if you know what I mean. So. A big thing I've learned through the spiritual world is called, I think, a static dancing. It's literally like going off into a room and dancing, and then you'll actually like track towards the people who want to dance with you or like your emotions of what dancing are. You'll find everybody around you dan is dancing the same, which is essentially what happens in a club. You kind of see these people doing a little bit of like the Will Smith hitch. Then you got these people over here kind of throwing up some Carlton. And then you got these people who are like, hmm, hmm. But you'll notice all these people dance in the same room or the same area of the same room, which is crazy that energy attracts that way. So if you watch the energy video, that's like the quantum physics of it, which is a whole new video in itself there. But the most important thing from this video is to go off and dance tonight if you can. It's a Thursday night. I'm sure there's a happy hour somewhere. Get you that free water. Go out and dance with your friends and have a good time. I want to say there's a fifth. Well, the fifth is be aware of a full moon. Like, 
because like track your emotions throughout the month. I would say with a new moon is a really good time to start your emotions because I kid you not, Spencer and I were sitting outside last night or two nights ago and I was like, I think there's a full moon. Like I'm feeling myself kind of getting my feelings a little bit and you know, I dressed up I didn't think was there, find stuff that I didn't think was there. And I pull out my iPhone, I see my moon calendar and I'm like, yeah, we got a full moon on the brink. So it's like really good to be aware of it. But then from a flip side, like fill out your emotions. See if you can guess when the moon's going to be full because I don't know too many people that are like, okay, that's that first phase of the moon. That's the second. Like I seriously didn't plan on doing this video until yesterday when I saw that and was like, well, I guess I need to do a full moon video and this would be a really good teaching moment for me to express what I learned through this process and feeling the full moon and seeing how I can help all of you guys understand or at least become aware of it so that you start understanding or diving into your own education on it, which is like my absolute goal. So I think that wraps up this full moon video. Everybody have a happy full moon. I hope the seeds you planted about two weeks ago are starting to grow and manifest as mine are. Be sure to check out yumispirituality.com. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel, this video, and everything I'm creating. Thank you so much, and have a beautiful day.